Hi guys, so today's video is going to go out to all you Darcy fans out there. Um, so if you count yourself a real Darcy fan, please watch this video um, because I want to know how many of these facts you know. Now, I have tried to come up with the most obscure facts. With the Shirley one, I kind of let myself down because I haven't been supporting her. Although I love her most, I haven't been supporting her as long as I had the other three. So I couldn't come up with as obscure facts. But, but for Darcy, I have come up with the most obscure facts that I can think of. But if you're a Darcy fan, you probably will know all of them. By the way, in case you're wondering why, why I'm wearing a coat indoors, it is absolutely freezing. In fact, it's sunnier now outside, but it's so cold. It's only about 10 degrees. And I know that sounds uh, really warm for all you in England that get minus two sometimes, but it's so windy, because I live right by the sea, it's so windy in that, that it gets cold and I feel the cold really easily. And I, I'm telling you, it was warmer when I went skiing. So that's saying something. Okay, so here we go. Ten facts about Darcy Bustle. Number one. Darcy is not her real first name. Her real name is Marnie Mercedes Darcy Pemberton Crittle. So her, her real first name is Marnie, but she's always been known as Darcy. Number two. She was estranged from her father until his death, after he walked out when she was three years old. When he came to one of her shows in 2000, he got a message saying, Miss Bustle has left the premises. Number, uh, number three, sorry. She is dyslexic. Now, a lot of you might know that one, but she is dyslexic and so... When she was younger, she found reading and writing extremely difficult. However, she does read and she has written a series of books called Magic Ballerina. However, she had ghostwriters for that. Um, and she came up with the ideas and these ghostwriters basically wrote them for her. I think that's what you call them anyway. Number four. She was bullied at school by the girls in her year to the extent that she'd hide in cupboards. She, because she was so embarrassed about being dyslexic and that she would go and hide in a cupboard all day at school um, and she'd try and work her way around it by saying that if she had to draw a picture at school and write about it, then she'd spend an hour and a half on the picture and write three lines for the story and always say that she had no time to finish it. Uh, she also said that she got on better with boys than she did with girls. Um, and that the girls didn't really get on with her, but the boys did. Okay, number five, sorry. There is a statue in London to replicate her, although it's not, a, uh, to represent her, sorry, though it's not a replica. I can't read today. Yeah, um, there's a statue of her in London, however, it's not, it's not her. It just represents her, but it's not an exact replicate of her. Number six. In, I think you're all going to know this. In 2009, she was a guest judge on Strictly. She appeared on it for the last three weeks of the 2009 series and performed a jive with Ian Waite, um, the professional dancer. Um, and later, she came back in 2012 full-time, performed in American Smooth with Ian Waite, and then has been on it ever since as a full-time judge. Number seven. I know this is a bit of a lame fact, but she's five foot seven. You might think, oh, she's taller, but that's because she wears heels on Strictly. She's actually only five foot seven, which puts her at the same height as Bruno. Weird, because when she's in heels, she looks about four inches taller. Sorry, um, just moving my camera a little bit. Sorry, because I, because I crossed out a load of these facts, I had 15 originally, but I wanted to keep it all to 10. Number eight. She originally wanted to become a traffic warden to stop graffiti, and she also wanted to be a gymnast, but she didn't become a gymnast because she was told she was too tall, become a gymnast but she was told she had the perfect physique for a ballet dancer 
she then went on to be the greatest British ballerina of all time. So, whoever told her that, thank you so much for giving us the birthday. Okay, um, number four, uh, number number nine. Sorry, she appeared in a Quaker's a Quaker Oats advert. Uh, to a song called Do the Bustle. And she danced around the room and showed you how to get up and go in the morning before spilling her milk all down her and then laughing um, and cursing as the camera was turned off there. Um, now, that's one that you might have seen, but yeah, go and watch it on YouTube. It's called, yeah, I'll put the link in the, I'll put the link in the description so you can go watch that. And number 10, this is one that you might find strange, her nickname as a child was Grub, because she always had, she always spilt stuff down herself. She was very clumsy, very untidy, and always got her clothes dirty. So her nickname was Grub. So anyway, how many of those did you know? So hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon with more videos. Remember to request any videos. I'll try and do them for you. Bye.